Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Short video today because it's my birthday <laughs> and I want to celebrate a bit with my family. On the other hand, I don't want to disappoint you, therefore there is another short video and it has to do with the CO2 shotgun that I demonstrated to you last time. Caliber 68 and actually you can load in these rubber balls or pepper balls or paint balls. It's actually a fun little shooter. In Germany you can only get it in the castrated seven and a half joule, like four, five foot pound version. Internationally it is 16 joule or 12 foot pounds. Pretty nice toy. Bang. Bang. <laughs> Very harmless, even in the 12 foot pound, 16 joule version. So I've been thinking, what can we do to uh, slingshot channelize it? <laughs> okay, so what you do when you have limited energy is that you try to make a projectile that is really thin for high penetration, but also very hard and pointy. And therefore these darts that have been used by cold steel, for example, for their blowguns um, are perfect, but they are too small for this caliber. And therefore I've been thinking, how can you make them at home inexpensively? And here is how that works. So, okay, what I found on Amazon is uh, this here. It's actually a speculum, so you can use it to look someone in the ear <laughs> with this thing. Uh, they are one way, of course. Uh, so it's like throw away, Dis disposable, I think is the right term. And um, they have an opening of two and a half millimeter, which is perfect. Uh, and they fit exactly right into the shotgun. So. No change necessary. <laughs> so here are all our speculi, speculums. <laughs> they are really cheap, as I said. And these are standard nails. And I use 3.1 millimeter nails here. Of course, you have to find halfway fitting ones. And these are pretty good. They can be a little shorter. This is 80 millimeter, but 50 millimeter is all you need. You can shorten them anyway. So first what you gotta do is you gotta make the hole just big enough for the nail. It is a little bit too tight and therefore I've just been putting one of the nails inside of uh, the drill, like so. And now what you do is you carefully drill out the tip. And now it's perfect. Now what we can do is we can simply put the nail right through. It's a tight fit but works without any problem. And now as you can see Ah, focus, come on. It sits perfectly well flush inside of the little funnel here. And now just a drop of hot glue sets it all. Okay, just like this. Beautiful. Now I can just load them in. But I have to say these are a bit long because they are now like twice as heavy as the rubber balls for which the, the, the weapon was developed. So for short distances these are devastating. But for longer distances I recommend sawing them off a bit. <laughs> this is the length that I think is ideal. It's now about two inches long, the nail itself, and uh, now they weigh about three and a half grams, which is exactly as heavy as the uh, rubber balls. And in the seven and a half shoe version, this means they fly with about 62 meters per second. Woo! <laughs> now, of course, if you hammer the tip flat and file it sharp, it's easy to make your own broad hats. Okay, so now it's 20 meters distance, it's pretty far. Uh, this weapon has originally only been specified for six to seven meters, but with these here, it's no problem. So much fun. So one thing I want to say is this is of course ridiculous if you compare it with a real shotgun. And I know that 180 euros is quite expensive you can get a real gun for that. But on the other hand it's so silent, it's clean, it's fun, you can shoot it in the garden. Uh, so it's really not, not something that you would consider as an alternative to a firearm if you live in a country where that is an option. And also I believe that this is actually for a better than nothing self-defense tool, it's actually usable with these uh, darts. So, darts. 
for the CO2 shotgun. Those are fun. <laughs> I hope you like them because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>